The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but underneath are ravenous wolves. By their fruits you will know them. Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Just so every good tree bears good fruit and a rotten tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a rotten tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. So by their fruits you will know them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Magandang umaga sa ating lahat. It's a happy morning for all of us. Holiday. And pakibati nga ng good morning din ang ating mga katabi. Good morning, brothers and sisters. And also to our online parishioners on our second day of our Novena Masses in preparation for our fiesta of our patron, Santa Maria Goretti, we meditate on the, the theme of trusting in God. Trusting in the Lord. Maria Goretti, she learned the early lessons of trust and confidence in God in the midst of their poverty. She was barely nine, ten years old when her father died and they were left without a father. And seeing her mother always sad and worried, one day she whispered to her lovingly, Sabi ni Maria Goretti, Sabi ni Marieta, Sa kanyang nanay, do not cry, mama. Courage, courage. What are you afraid of? We are now grown up. I am now a grown up. 11 years old, telling her mother, I am now a grown up. It is, not, it is enough that God blesses us with good health and providence will take care of the rest. Providence will help us. We shall manage. Kung magkaroon ka ba naman ng anak na ganyan, ewan ko na lang kung hindi ka paganahan. Barely 12, sasabihin sa'yo, Ma, ang ah, dahil mong pinoproblema. Providence, providence, providence. God will take care of us. Pakisabi nga sa katabi natin, providence. God will take care of us. On the second day and also on the sixth day of our flower of pardon, we reflect on the same theme. And, and today, as we offer the sixth flower of pardon, we pray for the people who are losing hope due to uncertainty, failures, unanswered prayers. Katulad ni Abram sa unang pagbasa, if you were listening to the first reading, he is a classic example of a person who is already doubting God's providence, doubting God's promise, because he's telling the Lord, Lord, masyado ka naman eh. The word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision. Sabi ng Panginoon sa kanya, Fear not, Abram, fear not. I am your shield, I will make your reward very great. Yun ang sabi ng Panginoon kay Abram, I will make your reward very great. Itinumang si Abram, later on Abraham, nag-complain sa Panginoon. Ang sabi niya, but Abram said, O Lord, O Lord God, what good will your gifts be if I keep on being childless and have as my heir the steward of my house, Eliezer? Ano siya nasabi ni Abraham sa Panginoon? Dami-dami mong pinapangako. I will make your reward very great. Eh, hindi mo nga naman ako binibigyan ng anak. How can I be the father to all nations? I don't even have a child. And who will be my heir? The son of Eliezer? Yung aking kasambahay? Yan, naiinis na si Abraham sa Panginoon. Abraham continued. Di pa siya tumigil. See? You have given me no offspring. And so one of my servants will be my heir. 
Maraming beses ganyan po tayo sa Panginoon. Naiinip na tayo, naiinis na tayo sa Panginoon. Parang unanswered prayer na lang. Lagi na lang tayong luhaan, lagi na lang tayong bigo. And failure after failure can lead us to some self-doubt. Failure can make us feel demoralized, helpless, hopeless, anxious, afraid. Halo-halo na. Sa parang bingi ang langit sa ating pakiusap. And because of this frustration, this lingering frustration, frustration leads to aggression. In psychology, there is a theory they call frustration aggression. That a lot of times, people who are frustrated, they tend to be aggressive. They tend to be violent and cruel. Kaya kung may mga taong mainit ang ulo sa inyong bahay, baka naman may pinanggagalingan yan. Frustration a lot of times would lead to aggressive behavior. For some others, it is not aggression but self-sabotage, self-pity, self-defeating behaviors. What's the effect of you, on you of failure? Kung kayo po ang tatanungin sa araw na ito, what's the effect on you of failure after failure? Lagi na lang tayong bigo. Lagi tayo humihingi, pero wala namang nabibigay. Kumakatok, di naman nagbubukas, nagahanap, di naman matagpuan. O ano na lang ang sabi ni Lord na, come to me. And if you, need, if you seek, you will find. If you knock, it shall be opened. If you ask, you shall receive. So what happened to that Lord? Like Abraham, oftentimes we want fruits of our prayer. At yun ang sinasabi din sa ating Ebanghelyo. By their fruits, you shall know them. And so, we, we take it back to God and tell Him, So, by your fruits, by their fruits, you shall know them. O asan yung bunga ng aming panalangin? We think that prayer should have fruits. That, it, that, that they should bear fruit with some form of material gift or prayer answered. Ano po ang sitwasyon natin sa buhay ngayon? Mga kapatid, where are you right now when it comes to faith and trust in God's providence? Nagsasawa na po ba tayo? Naiinis na ba tayo? Nawawalan na ba tayo ng pag-asa? The Lord tells you today, as He told Abraham, let's go back to the first reading, ang sabi ng Panginoon sa kanya, Come, Abraham, go outside and look. Look, He took him outside and the Lord said to him, Look up at the sky. And count the stars if you can. Just so shall your descendants be. Ang sabi ng Panginoon kay Abraham, Abraham, labas ka ng kwarto mo. Labas ka ng tent mo. Huwag ka nang nagkukulong dyan sa kwarto. Lumabas ka. Look outside. Look up. And you will see in the sky the stars that remind you of my promise. Sa mga taong frustrated at naiinis na at nawawalan ng pag-asa, their world becomes a very small world. Their vision becomes too narrow and they just lock the door and hope to die. The Lord is telling you today, go out, look up. Sabi ni Carl Jung, isang psychologist, Carl Jung said, He who looks outside dreams and he who looks inside wakes up. If you want a future, look up, look out. Don't just, you know, look at yourself and do some self-pity every day. Minsan, yun ang paborito natin gawain araw-araw. We move around, we shut the door, and we just, you know, want to feel miserable about ourselves because we feel hopeless. There's nothing in it for me anymore. Nothing more for me. Brothers, Sisters who are in this situation of giving up, of despair, of losing hope, the Lord is telling you today, rise, take up your mat, and walk, open the door, look up, look outside. There is so much to do. There is so much that the Lord has offered and prepared for us. Amen? Second day of our novena, trust in God's providence. Sixth day of our flower of pardon, we trust that God provides. Don't lose hope. Lagi na lang po tayong luhaan. Lagi na lang tayong nagmamaktol. 
Kasi parang di naman naririnig ang panalangin. The Lord listens to us. Sabi sa ating responsorial psalm, and I'd like you to make this your prayer today, the Lord remembers His covenant forever. He remembers. He doesn't forget. He doesn't leave us to our own lonesome, to, to, to face our trials and adversities. God remembers His promise, His covenant with us. Kaya sa araw na ito, I'd like to encourage all of you, not me, not my words, but the Lord's promise, I remember, I won't forget, cross my heart until I die. And He did on the cross. He died for our sake in order to fulfill His promise. So I invite you, let us offer the sixth flower of pardon today. On the second day of our novena, join me as we pray. I offer you, Lord, this flower of pardon for people who are losing hope due to uncertainty, failures, and unanswered prayers. Accompany them when they are feeling down and doubting themselves. Hold their hand and command them once again. Rise, take up your mat, and walk. Give them the strength to move forward and try again. Never allow them to lose hope in the fulfillment of your promise. Through the intercession of Santa Maria Goretti, may they never give up on life and their dreams. May they learn to humbly embrace your will and your plan. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo sa ating pagdiriwang ng misa ngayon. Thank you for attending and being with us in our second day of our Novena Masses in preparation for our fiesta. Mamaya po, we will give you each a flower of pardon. Today, our intention uh, is for the people, for those, for those who are losing hope, for those who are suffering because of failure, because of uncertainty, because of unanswered prayers, we pray for them. If it is you, offer this flower on, for your family. If this is for others, offer a prayer for them. For those online, you may wish also to send a virtual flower and say a prayer. Through the intercession of Santa Maria Goretti, may we all be given hope and trust and confidence in God's providence. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may our loving God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Go in peace and put your trust in the Lord. Thanks be to God.